always looking for ways to make my home look and feel more luxurious. Today, I'm gonna to share my top 10 design tips on how to make your kitchen look more expensive. The one thing that can really make your kitchen shine is accessorizing. It doesn't have to be a big part of your budget either, but in my mind, it's what adds that personality and charm. I created a few displays. I have this one right here on my center island, and I placed a large marble tray, and then on top I have an urn, a small flower arrangement, and a candle. Underneath my cabinets over here, I created two small floral arrangements, which I placed on top of a marble cutting board. And then on top of my stove, I added a mirror tray with a glass tear tray covered in a cloche, and I added some tasty croissants. You can add some fresh flowers, a chopping board, fruit. You can get a decorative bowl and add some apples and bananas inside. So don't underestimate the power of food when decorating. Decorative dishes or a mug could be a great accessory as well. So speaking of mugs, I love what goes inside mugs. And we live here in Florida, and despite the general consensus, it does get cold here in the winter. In fact, this weekend is supposed to drop down to the mid fifties. <laughs> We're pretty weak, I know, that's cold for us. So what we do is we make a large batch of hot cocoa for everyone to stay warm. My friends at Maestri House sent me a milk frother. Maestri House is sponsoring my video and I can't even tell you how excited I am to have this milk frother. I've never had one before. And ever since it came, we have used it every single day. It is so easy to use. My kids even help me. So let me show you how I make my frothy hot cocoa. All you need to do is plug in the milk frother, place the milk frothing whisk set in the center, fill up the milk jug with your choice of beverage. In my case, I'm using milk and I filled up the jug to the minimum froth line. I selected my temperature you have an option of 120, 140, or 160 degrees. And then select a frothing. You also have a variety of density options to choose from as well. It automatically starts right up and begins heating up your milk and begins to froth it. After about 30 seconds, I'm going to add in my hot cocoa mix. It's going to continue to mix and heat up and create the froth for about two minutes. If you don't want froth, you can simply just heat up your beverage. Once it's hot and frothy, it's going to beep to let you know that it's done. If hot cocoa isn't your thing, this is great for a cappuccino, a latte, a macchiato, and so much more. Look how foamy, frothy, and delicious this looks. Just look at that frothy foam. Seriously, it looks so good. And it does taste just like a chocolate cloud. I will leave a link to this milk frother in my description box as well as a discount code. So head over to Meister House and pick up your own milk frother. Lighting is a great way to upgrade your kitchen and you don't have to break the bank to find some fabulous options. Now, if you know me by now, you know that I love gold. And so I selected these large gold pendant lights that go over my island. They really bring a touch of sophistication to this space. They're oversized and they bring an amazing amount of light. Large scale lighting tricks your eye and makes you feel like you're in a larger space. But these two large pendant lights are a much bigger wow factor than some smaller pendant lights would be. I also added some lights inside of my glass cabinet drawers, which illuminate that space, highlight all the pieces that are inside of the cabinets, and it adds a lovely ambient light. And finally, I added some sconces on either side of my refrigerator. When a room has multiple light sources, it feels more elevated. Here's a quick design tip. 
If possible, put your lights on dimmers because then you can create a beautiful ambiance simply by upping the light or dimming it. Next, we're gonna talk about incorporating seating areas into your kitchen. Having a seating area can really elevate your kitchen. I have four bar stools that go right underneath my center island. If you have a breakfast nook or a raised bar, bar stools are a great way to incorporate another design element. There's not a whole lot of designing that you can do in a kitchen or bringing in a statement piece, but a bar stool is a great way to do it. You can incorporate different kinds of colors or textures into your bar stools. And there are so many options to choose from. You can really drive yourself crazy looking for the perfect bar stool. I spent so much time trying to find mine, but I found some really great affordable ones that work perfectly in my space. The next way to upgrade your kitchen is simply by switching out your hardware. This is an easy fix. It can update your kitchen cabinets. New hardware is a quick and easy way to refresh your kitchen. I absolutely love these large gold and lucite poles. I have these poles in a large size. I also have them in a smaller size on my lower cabinets. It looks crisp and clean and it adds a little bit more glam to this space. I also have some crystal and gold knobs which enhance the more expensive look I'm trying to achieve. Next, we're gonna be layering in some faux flowers or greenery. Adding in flowers or greenery into a space can really make it feel alive. It adds pattern, texture, and color. I love decorating with flowers, both real and faux. The faux plants and florals these days can look and feel so realistic. So what I did was I created this small flower arrangement for my center island, and then I did two smaller arrangements underneath each of my cabinets. I had some white ones underneath my cabinets for Christmas, but since spring is on the way, I thought I would switch it out for some pretty roses and some pink peonies. I easily created these floral arrangements and I used some kitchen bowls as my base. And then for this one, I used a small jar. This is just the bottom part of a jar. I took off the lid and I used it as a base. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use just what you have around the house as containers for some beautiful plants or florals. Next, we're gonna talk about countertops. Now, swapping out your countertop can get really pricey so if that's not in your budget, I have a couple small solutions that will work for you. First, I have all of these marble trays around my kitchen. So I have this one right here underneath my floral arrangements. It's just these small little cutting boards. I got them from Ross and they were $6.99 a piece. That is an extremely affordable way to bring in some marble, a high class material into your space. I also have this Marble Lazy Susan. I purchased it at Home Goods and it was around $30. So just by bringing in some marble accessories, you can get the look of marble, the feel of marble, and the elegance of a stone without spending a ton of money. Next, let's talk about paint. If you cannot rip out your cabinets, painting them can be a great solution. My kitchen remodel began with some wood cabinets and I just did not like the color, but it would have been so expensive to rip them out and start over again. So I actually kept the vast majority of my cabinets, especially all of the lower cabinets. And I simply just painted them. I used some bare polar bear white paint. Painting these cabinets just brightened up this space dramatically. It also gave it a fresh feel and it updated it to a more modern and contemporary style. By reusing my existing cabinets and repainting them, I saved thousands of dollars. And while we're on the topic of cabinets, let's talk about taking everything to the ceiling. By running your cabinets all the way to the ceiling, it makes your space feel so much larger. 
I added a thick crown molding to the top of my cabinets in order to close that gap. When you pay a little extra to get cabinets that go to the ceiling, it makes all the difference in the world. Plus you don't get that weird space above the cabinets where you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Should I add a faux plant? You know, and it just ends up being a dust collector. So you don't have to worry about decorating that space either. Another thing that I did was I ran my backsplash all the way to the ceiling as well. Anytime you take your backsplash all the way to the ceiling, it draws your eye up and it makes your space feel much more grand. Okay guys, now we're gonna talk about the cheapest and easiest tip that I could give you. And I guarantee you, you already know about it. And that is to keep your space clean. Easier said than done, right? No matter the size, the shape, the style of your kitchen, if you walk into a space that's clean, it feels luxurious. Here is one simple and easy cleaning tip I can give you. Try and keep dishes out of your sink. Just, just one thing, just one tip. Just when you're done with your dishes, wash them, put them in the dishwasher or put them away. This one tip will make your space feel clean almost all of the time. Decluttering is also free, but can make a huge impact on the way your space feels. Sometimes the kitchen can be the catch-all for everything in the house. Do you have those drawers that you try and open and it's just jam-packed with either just, you know, those potato mashers or a whole bunch of spoons and utensils that you don't use anymore or just clutter that's in the cabinet, all kinds of papers and etc. Clean it out. If you do that, your anxiety will go down a lot more when you go and try and open that cabinet the next time. Donate, throw away, just get rid of the things that you don't need anymore. I promise by doing that, your kitchen will feel so much more inviting and luxurious. If you can switch out your faucet from an older faucet to a newer updated version, it will make a huge difference. I swapped mine out for this tall curved neck. It adds a bit of sophistication and elegance to the space. And you don't need to spend an arm and a leg to do it. You can find some really affordable options at Home Depot or Lowe's, and they are so pretty. I love the designs that they have nowadays. So if you can't swap out your sink or swap out any of the other things, you can upgrade your kitchen by just swapping out your faucet. I hope you enjoyed these tips on helping your kitchen feel more expensive on a budget. I know that we all want to live more beautifully, but we want to do it in an affordable way. I will leave links to all of the products that we talked about today, the bar stools, the faucet, the lighting, the drawer pulls, the knobs, all kinds of things. And then also I will leave a link to that amazing milk frother and the discount code. Everything will be in my description box for you to see. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.